Hello friends. Welcome to study time. Today current affairs for competitive exams 2021. India at 55th in home price index. The Indian property market has moved down 12 spots in Knight Frank's global house price. Index to 55th rank in the first quarter of 2021 against 43rd rank in 2020. It saw a decline of 1.6% year on year yoy in home prices. Turkey continued to lead the index for the fifth consecutive quarter while Spain was the weakest performing territory in Q1 2021. K Nagraj Naidu, UN chef the cabinet. President elect of the 76th session of the UN General Assembly Maldivian Foreign Minister Abdullah Shahid has appointed India's deputy permanent representative to the UN Ambassador K Nagraj Naidu as his chef the cabinet. Shahid was elected on June 7, 2021 as president of the next session of the UN General Assembly that will commence in September 2021. Appointment C. GameStop has named the head of Amazon's Australian business as its CEO. Matt Furlong, a 9-year Amazon veteran, will succeed George Sherman as chief executive officer. Mike Recupero will succeed Jim Bell as chief financial officer. Anita Fru would succeed Ian Davis as chair of Rolls-Royce in October 2021, making her the first woman to chair the British Aero Engine Company. Appointments 2. Hindustan Unilever Limited HUL has announced the appointment of Kedar Lele, currently CMD of Unilever Bangladesh, to the HUL Management Committee as Executive Director, Customer Development. The Board of Cricket Australia CA has announced the appointment of incoming director Greg Rowell which will be effective from June 10, 2021. Tata Digital to buy a stake in A Pharmacy 1 MG. Tata Digital Ltd, a subsidiary of Tata Sons Private Limited, is all set to acquire a majority stake in a digital health company 1 MG Technologies Private Ltd. Incorporated in 2015, 1 MG provides online delivery of medicines, health and wellness products (ETC). Tata had also announced its investment of $75 MN in fitness startup Kafit and onboarding of Mukesh Bansal as president earlier. ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund to launch NFO. ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund has announced the launch of a flexi cap fund. It is an open-ended equity scheme which aims to provide capital appreciation by investing in equity and equity-related securities across market capitalization based on an in-house market cap allocation model. The new fund offer will open on the 28th of June and close on the 12th of July 2021. Jharkhand Go collaborates with Doordarshan. The Jharkhand Education Department has collaborated with Doordarshan. It will broadcast video lectures and online classes for students of class 1 to 12 from June 14, 2021 onwards for the next 3 months. The department has signed a contract with Doordarshan in this regard. Post summer vacations students shall be benefited from special video lectures aired on the Doordarshan channel. Tot of 2DG for pharma industries. DRDO has proposed to offer transfer of technology tot of 2DG to Indian pharmaceutical industries for production. DRDO which developed to deoxydeglucose 2DG a drug used for the treatment of covid-19 patients has called for expression of interest EOI to transfer the technology. 2DG was developed by the Institute of Nuclear Medicine and Allied Sciences. Sports. The Athletics Federation of India has announced that the 4th Indian Grand Prix will be held in Patiala on June 21, 2021. The AFI will also conduct the National Interstate Athletics Championships from June 25th at the same venue. The Indian Premier League will be played between September 19th and October 15, 2021 in the United Arab Emirates. BCCI Vice President Rajiv Shukla has confirmed the dates. US to pay about 1.2 billion dollars for a COVID treatment. The US government has agreed to pay about 1.2 billion dollars US dollars for 1.7 million courses of Merck's experimental COVID-19 treatment if it is proven to work in an ongoing large trial and authorized by US regulators. The oral antiviral treatment molnupiravir aims to stop COVID-19 from progressing and can be given early in the course of the disease, similar to Tamiflu to treat influenza. Two-day Arab India Energy Forum concludes. The first edition of the Two-day Arab India Energy Forum, which was held in a virtual format, concluded on the 9th of June 2021. The forum was held under the co-chairship of India and Morocco. The inaugural session of the forum was addressed by Power Minister R K Singh. The forum witnessed the exchange of knowledge, expertise, and best practices in the fields of energy efficiency programs.
U.S. to buy 500 million Pfizer vaccine doses. The administration of U.S. President Joe Biden is buying 500 million doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine to distribute among other countries. Biden will make the formal announcement at the G7 meeting in Britain. The United States itself has fully vaccinated more than half its entire population, and the infection rate has plummeted. Gove approves 708 proposals under PMAYU. The government has approved 708 proposals for the construction of 3.61 lakh houses under Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Urban PMAYU. The decision was taken at the 54th meeting of the Central Sanctioning and Monitoring Committee, CSMC, under PMAYU held in New Delhi. In addition, PMAYU Awards 2021, 100 Days Challenge, was also launched. Center Releases Revenue Deficit Grant The Center has released the third monthly installment of Post-Devolution Revenue Deficit PDRD Grant of Rs. 9,871 crore for the current financial year to 17 states. With the release of third installment, a total amount of Rs. 29,613 crore have been released in the first three months of the current financial year. The Center provides the grant under Article 275 of the Constitution. Increase in MSP for Kharif crops approved. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved an increase in the minimum support price for all mandated Kharif crops for marketing season 2021-22. This will ensure remunerative prices to the growers for their produce. The expected returns to farmers over their cost of production are estimated to be highest in the case of Bajra which is 85% followed by Urad 65% and Tur 62%. U.S. President's First Trip Abroad U.S. President Joe Biden on 9 June 2021 began his first trip abroad after becoming the President of America. He is on a visit to Europe. The U.S. President will make his first stop of the trip at the seaside village of St. Ives in Cornwall where he will participate in the G7 summit. Biden's summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin on June 16 in Geneva is the major part of the trip. Legendary filmmaker Budhadev Dasgupta dies. Legendary Bengali filmmaker Budhadev Dasgupta passed away in June 21. Five of Budhadev Dasgupta's films have won the National Film Awards for Best Feature Film, while he's won Best Director for two. He was honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Spain International Film Festival in Madrid on 27 May 2008. He was best known for films like Bagh Bahadur, Lal Darja, and Kal Purush. Yuka Sasso wins U.S. Women's Open. Filipino-Japanese teenager and Japan LPGA Tour player Yuka Sasso have won the U.S. Women's Open Golf Tournament at the Olympic Club, San Francisco. Sasso stands with the record of Inby Park as the youngest U.S. Women's Open winner. Only two other women with Japanese citizenship have won majors, Hisako Higuchi at the 1977 LPGA Championship and Hinako Shibuno at the 2019 Women's British Open. Two-lane tunnel project announced for Masuri. Union Road Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari has approved 700 crore rupees for the construction of the tunnel in Masuri City, Uttarakhand. The tunnel would be 2.74 kilometers long and would provide easier and congestion-free connectivity to Masuri Town, Mall Road, and LBSNAA, IAS Academy. The tunnel will be constructed on National Highway No. 707A in the Masuri. Dehing Patkai, Assam's seventh national park. The Assam government has declared Dehing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary as the state's seventh national park. The state now has the third highest number of national parks in the country. With 10 national parks, Madhya Pradesh tops the list, while Andaman and Nicobar Islands come in second with 9. There are 105 national parks in India, covering 44,000 acres of space. ISRO to assist development projects in NA. Indian Space Research Org. ISRO will assist development projects in the Northeast through space technology. ISRO will contribute by offering optimum utilization of satellite imaging and other space technology applications for better. Accomplishment of infrastructural projects. ISRO is already monitoring and geotagging 67 projects at 221 sites in all the eight states funded by the NA Council. Digital India Corporation signs more with ICR. Digital India Corporation, DIC, and the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICR, on the 9th of June 2021 signed and more to provide. Demand-based tele-agriculture advisories to farmers. 
The objective of the MO is to integrate the existing interactive information dissemination system platform of DIC with the proposed Kisan Sarathi program of ICR and its implementation through the ICR network. Exemption is given to SOE for drone operations. The Ministry of Civil Aviation and Directorate General of Civil Aviation has granted a conditional exemption to Survey of India from Unmanned Aircraft System Rules, 2021. The drone deployment permission has been granted for mapping of inhabited areas of villages under the SVAMITVA scheme. SVAMITVA stands for Survey of Villages and Mapping with Improvised Technology in Village Areas. NG Ranga's 26th Death Anniversary the 26th death anniversary of the father of the Indian peasant movement, Acharya N.G. Ranga was observed on the 9th of June 2021. Goginani Ranga Nayukulu, also known as N.G. Ranga, was an Indian freedom fighter, farmers and R.S. Ho, leader, and veteran parliamentarian. N.G. Ranga brought peasants into our freedom struggle and fought for their cause. Extension of Applicability of NIP 2012 The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has given its approval for extension of the applicability of new investment policy NIP. 2012 read with its amendment dated 7 October 2014 for the Ramagundam Fertilizer and Chemicals Limited, RFCL. RFCL is a joint venture company consisting of National Fertilizer Limited, Engineers India Limited, and Fertilizer Corporation of India Limited. Tigana HC bench strength rises from 24 to 42. The Telangana High Court's bench strength has been increased from 24 to 42 judges, as the centre has agreed to the long-pending proposal revived by CJI. N.V. Ramana, out of 42, 32 will be permanent judges and 10 will be additional judges. Now, as per the scheme, out of 42, 28 judges would be made from the bar quota and the rest 14 judicial officers would be promoted under the service category. Assam to come up with 10 commando battalions. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Samar on 9 June 2021 announced to set up 10 new commando battalions in the state. Professional commando battalions, comparable to the NSG, will be formed to deal with new emerging forms of crime sternly. The commando battalions will be deployed in sensitive and critical areas like the Assam Nagaland border, in Tinsukia district, and Bodoland territorial region. Vishwavi reappointed as MD, CEO of RBL Bank. RBL Bank has received approval from the Reserve Bank of India RBI for the reappointment of Vishwavi Rahuja as MD and CEO. The reappointment of Vishwavi Rahuja as MD and CEO of RBL Bank is for a further period of one year, with effect from 30 June 2021. RBL Bank is a private sector bank. The bank added 26 branches during Q4 FY21 taking a total number of branches to 429 as of 31 March 2021. Tiny Particles Power Chemical Reactions MIT engineers have discovered a new way of generating electricity using tiny carbon particles that can create a current simply by interacting with the liquid surrounding them. The liquid, an organic solvent, draws electrons out of the particles, generating a current that could be used to drive chemical reactions or to power micro-nanoscale robots. Debbie Hewitt to become the first woman to lead FA. Debbie Hewitt is set to become the first woman to lead the Football Association, FA, in its 157-year history, with effect from January 2022. Hewitt was the unanimous choice of the seven-member selection panel, led by independent non-executive FA director Kate Tinsley. She's currently the non-executive chair of Visa Europe, the restaurant group PLC, BGL Group, and White Stuff. HDFC Bank Inc. more with KIADB. Karnataka Industrial Area Development Board, KIADB, has signed and more with HDFC Bank. As part of the MO, HDFC Bank will provide a wide range of financial products and services to its customers through an extensive network of branches across the country. KIADB shall accord approvals related to handing over possession of land and project-related construction as per agreed terms. Dr. Cheruk Hosla wins Greenpreneur Award 2021. Dr. Chiruk Hosla, Assistant Dean, Chitkara University, Punjab, has won the prestigious Greenpreneur Award 2021. He has been awarded for exemplary work in energy management. The Greenpreneur Awards 2021 were organized by Startup Punjab in collaboration with the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry Fikki Flo Amritsar to honor Punjab's finest entrepreneurs. Indothai Coordinated Patrol
The 31st edition of the India-Thailand Coordinated Patrol Indo-Thai CORPAT, between the Indian Navy and the Royal Thai Navy is being conducted from 9-11 June 2021. In Siriu, an indigenously built naval offshore patrol vessel, and His Majesty's Thailand ship, HTMS Krabi, an offshore patrol vessel, along with Donier Maritime Patrol aircraft from both navies are participating in the CORPAT. 25,000 rupees CR high-tech project for Indian Railways. The Union Cabinet has approved 5 MHz in 700 MHz frequency band to Indian Railways for public safety and security services at stations, trains, public safety, and security services at stations and in trains. The estimated investment in the project is more than ours. 25,000 crore. It will be completed in the next five years. Railways have also approved TCAS, Train Collision Avoidance System. Panchkula gets MDA. Haryana CM Manohar Lal Khattar has announced the setting up of a Metropolitan Development Authority MDA, for Panchkula. This makes it the third city after Gurugram and Faridabad to have such a body. The authority while working in coordination with other departments like Haryana Shri Vikas Pradhikaran would ensure the availability of infrastructure and other key facilities to the people. Go gives nine-month extension to LIC chairman. The government has given a nine-month extension to LIC chairman M.R. Kumar till March 2022 because of the insurer's proposed initial public offer towards the end of the current fiscal. Kumar was to retire in June 2021 upon attaining the age of 60 years. Initial public offer IPO of LIC would be floated in 2021-22 is part of the ambitious 1.75 lakh rupees crore disinvestment target. Surakshit Hum Surakshit Tum Abhiyan launched. Niti Aayog and Piramal Foundation have launched Surakshit Hum Surakshit Tum Abhiyan in 112 aspirational districts. They will assist district administrations in providing home care support to COVID-19 patients who are asymptomatic or have mild symptoms. It will be led by district magistrates in partnership with over 1,000 local NGOs, which will enlist and train over 1 lakh volunteers. Gujarat waves off property tax for gyms. The Gujarat government has announced a complete waiver of property tax for cinema houses, multiplexes, and gymnasiums, for a period of one year from April 1, 2021, to March 31, 2022, because of the COVID pandemic. It has also been decided that such cinema houses, multiplexes, and gymnasiums will also be exempted from the fixed charge in the electricity bill. Meghan Markle releases kids book. Meghan Markle, Britain's Duchess of Sussex, released her debut children's book on 8 June 2021, dedicating it to her husband Prince Harry and their two-year-old son Archie. The book titled, The Bench, looks at the relationship between father and son through a mother's eyes. There is also an audio version of the book, which features watercolor illustrations by artist Christian Robinson. World's Most Livable Cities in 2021 Auckland in New Zealand has been named the most livable city globally by the Economist Intelligence Unit, EIU. The Livability Index ranks cities based on more than 30 qualitative and quantitative factors across five broad categories, stability, healthcare, culture and environment, education, and infrastructure. Auckland is followed by Osaka, Adelaide, Wellington, Tokyo, Perth, Zurich, ETC. The end. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.